Hey everybody, I'm Adam. I'm Sam. And I'm Will, and we are Working Titles! <laughs> Beast Swarm. Smelly Pig. <laughs> hey y'all, we're back with Duo Swarm! This is. Uh, I get what he's doing. This is season one, episode thirteen. Something more important than life. Death. What happened last time, gentlemen? Uh, we saw Zenitsu and how he fights, aka has to be asleep with his cool lightning dash. We saw Pigman using Beast Form to fight the other curses that are in the building. And now Tanjiro is left to defend the children and fight the former 12 right. or whatever. Yeah. Exiled. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. If you've been enjoying our playlist so far, make sure you go back and watch every single video, as well as every other anime that we got if you enjoy anime. If you want to see some of our stuff a week in advance, we have Demon Slayer available for you, so make sure you're here, because that will be available until we are caught up with you guys. And most importantly, we do not own this show, so make sure you go and support it on any other streaming service, whether it be Hulu, Crunchyroll, Funimation, whatever's still around at the time, and come back and watch your boys. We're going to get started. Punch it! Bah! I've done a good job! <laughs> Man's walking on a broken leg. This man's walking with a broken leg. And then Tondro was like, This is too weak? My rib is broken and my leg is broken. Uh, Tondro has a broken leg and broken ribs and he's already on his next mission. Yeah, he has a broken leg and rib, remember that. Remember, he's fighting with a broken rib and broken leg. Yes, true. For sleeping style. That's Zenetsu protecting his boo that I don't want him to be anywhere near. Yeah, no fucking shot. Load that shit. Yes. <laughs> I knew it! That's my boy. What the fuck? <laughs> There's somebody in here? <laughs> I can't I love, I still love how unfazed this demon is. He just doesn't care. Dude, your fucking positivity is amazing. Well, the lights aren't even like, um, they're, they're yeah, staying the same. Yeah. That's cool. It's like their perception of like gravity is changing, yeah. not the actual thing. The building itself remains intact. Shit. You guys are wrong. That was just so tricky. Yep, yeah, special blood. So tricky. 50 plus humans. It's a meal. Oh, Oh, 
Yeah, he ain't giving up either. Oh, oh shit. Gosh. Lower moon six. God, <laughs> Whoa! He's like he's in a fucking washer. <laughs> well, Aaron, hi. To write it. What did he even say? Isn't he like an artist? Mm. Man, you suck, bro. Kyogo. No fragility, no impact. Uh, damn. Dude, I need a dick. Dude. Oh. Demon rage. Whoa. 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 What? Yeah, boy. He was already a demon? Interesting. I don't know if you should kill somebody just because they don't like your shit. Rapid drum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the master drummer. Damn, that's a cool shot. Whoa. Whoa. That's his work. Oh! Well, that's, that's all it takes. Can you go on a yoni yoketa? Can I go on a yoni yoketa? Can I go on a yoni yoketa? Fight, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> ah, frick. Hurry up, dude. Too late, bro. Nice. That's what's up. Alright, cool. It won't dissipate? It's going slowly. No, they, they took the sample from the other girl. Okay. Hell yeah. My cute. boy! Oh. Oh, oh that's that's the gotta be him. There's the seal. How the fuck did it know to be here? What the fuck? Wait, sorry, did I miss something? Probably the same as like the crows know where they are. Just got appeared at the right fucking moment. Well, that's why. Oh, okay. Oh. Yashiro's spells. To my own. Or Yashiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? The magic cat. Wow. 
is cool. I was gonna say, I don't know if your writing changed any bit, but your, your demon art was nice. That's so fucking harsh. Exactly. Did he know what it was, though? See, that's his. That, yeah, I don't, oh, think, I, don't oh. think he, I don't think he knew what was on it. I think he just didn't want to step on it. And my real art. Oh, the Suzumi. I thought the drumming was nice. Well, at least he dies in peace. He's a warrior. Come on, boy. Where is he? Shit. <laughs> Come on. Big boy. <clears throat> Big boy and him duking it out out there. Oh, yeah, boy. Is. Draw your sword and fight me. Oh shit. Tanjiro. Oh, good job, mate. More than life. Oh my god, did he just fucking kill this kid? There we go, macaroni. Oh, you know what I got Tanjiro. Yes, he did. Tanjiro <laughs> Tachito. Oh, shit. Mm. Those weird sounding loud footsteps. What happened to the. Who was watching, um. Nezuko's box by the No one, they left it. Okay. <gasps> what? Coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through! The monster board. <laughs> Demonic vibe! Oh, Nezu, Nezu. Oh, so he was there. Look at him. Mr. He looks feral. Yeah, he definitely is. He looks like he's been bitten by a dog or a boar. Dude, stop. Zenitsu. I don't know what that is! Shit. Oh, man. No. <laughs> Dude, boy. Oh, respectable, man. Wow. Mm. Good. You probably could hear it. Yeah. Look at him. I've been doing it, buddy. I've been doing it. I've never heard anything like that before. Damn, that's a cool shot. Let's go, wolves. Let's go. That has to be annoying and amazing at the same time for him. Gosh. <laughs> no, don't go back to this. This is the stuff that made me not like you. 
Hey, ah. Uh, yeah. He's like, you've been talking this whole time? <laughs> I wish he said that. Let's go! Mm. Keep jumping in front of it. Nice! I wonder if that's why they're fighting in the outro the whole time. Is he always going to be wanting to kill Nezuko the entire show? <laughs> Damn. Oh, gosh. All right, what are we going to do about it? How are we gonna deal with this? Dude, what if that is like his leg hair? That's what I was gonna say earlier. I was like, what and his feet? feet. Well then, Holy he's, very, shit. he's very patchy because his feet are untouched. Oh. That's a good friend. Very commendable. Especially because you just met him too. Tanjiro, do something! Oh, oh. oh, man. Dude, punch this stupid feral fucking face! Guy's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking dumbass. Beat him up! Oh! oh. Do it! Oh, Tanjiro booking him too for a second. I was like, what the hell? I dare you. Get out! Uh. It's over. Y'all, that was episode 13 of Demon Slayer. Something more important than life. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I almost wish, because this felt like a little trilogy, when we met Macaroni Boy to then getting the mansion, then this one was definitely a one, two, three, packed into its own little episode to get out of the house. But... Um, Good conclusion, I guess, to the drumming demon. Yeah. Rest in peace. Kyogi. Kyogi. Uh, one of the cooler designs of the demon so far. I liked it a lot. I know yeah. you thought he was probably going to be more of the boss material from. The yeah, no, it, it felt like he was going to be more boss material, but I mean, he looks. He had an awesome look. Yeah. Um, aesthetic. I think one of the cooler looking fights, just because of Tanjiro being able to be flipped around. Yeah, that was awesome. I can't say I've seen that too, too much, other than, like, maybe ODM gear from AOT, where you have the the background of the show playing more of a role than the uh, the character itself at the center. Yeah. I mean, Tanjiro mostly stood still during that one shot that I really loved, and that had that camera, like... Flipping. Just constantly over flipping. and over again, yeah. just follow, tracking him, but, like, f paralleling uh, the other wall um, was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that a lot, and like the the water effect was really cool. His ninth ninth form, ninth form, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, turbulence, turbulence, turbulent, turbulent. Yeah. Something, something turbulent. I had it written down. I had them all written down. Um, but yeah, no, that was cool. Like the it's such a like interesting. Uh, this I'll give credit to the show. Every bad guy has had such a bizarre ability that I just like haven't really expected. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like. The, the lagoon. Splashing water for them. The multiple extending arms, the lagoon, or like, you know, swamp, underworld, dimension. Yeah, the... That's been a bizarre the, one for the, that's Yeah, the, that's the ripping of the skin with pheromones going out. I don't know. Mm -hmm. or eyeball um, one. That the was eyeball, weird. using the force. The tamari balls. The tamari balls. Yeah, like, it's all... And the, this guy. It's all been, like, really cool stuff. See, the tamari actually wasn't super, like, uh, bizarre to me. It just felt like superpower like ball where like the other one is like who comes up in the writing room like this demon is gonna project arrows 
Like that's the that's the like what but the fuck? He created the balls though. Or she created the balls. And it's not like the, yeah. she just went out and bought the balls. No, she I guess she it's because, like, them. I've seen stuff like that in video games. Like, you astral project, like, a ghostly sword. Or, like, you make something appear and use it as a weapon. Where, I, I don't know, arrows is just a little bit so abstract for me. I I, I like it, though. I'm she turned saying. into Machamp. Machamp? Mm-hmm. Who's that? Balt- He's Balt- a four-armed Balt- Pokemon, but she had six. Mm. Yeah, she was, she was a cool design. Uh, I've liked all the demons that have played a story role so far. Um, I will say, while we were just talking about the demons, uh, less sympathetic for the one we had today as opposed to the one Zeke played with the arms. The arms. Yeah. I think that hit home a little bit more just because the, at least how they, they portrayed the story uh, and I might get the story wrong a bit, but just like there was a little, like more of an innocence and like to who they were prior, and then like they couldn't help what they became after being infected. Were this, I'm kind of lost. Like, was that person who became a shut-in always a demon? I'm confused on it too. I don't know if that's a spoiler to fully ask you because I know it becomes one of the special twelve of the moon stuff, the yeah. demon moon. Also, the f- that, that's also the hard thing. Like, if it's a demon too, I guess that that's what will settle it. Because was that a person before, and then like because of their hatred, they got the demon power? Well, like where Muzan, was it? Muzan has to turn you into a demon. Yeah, that's why I didn't. So yeah, I, I wonder if that's like the imagery they chose, like him turning into a demon. Was it or like could have been like Muzan changed him and he came back home and he's yeah. Him. I was gonna say, was there multiple Something scenes like that. in between that? Like yeah. he was. He got just rejected. Trying to speed up the process. Yeah, like he got rejected, and then like that is just showing that eventually his master might not have died there. Whoever that was, his parent or his teacher, they might not have died in that moment. But after stepping on the papers, as a result, the transition of him becoming a demon one day and then killing him. So maybe like because it was very artistic how they did it. Like the the guy stepped on the papers, he walked Everything away, turned red, and yeah. then he turned red. So yeah. how I feel you could say is that scene did happen. And then maybe the next time he got the opportunity to come across the guy, he slashed him. Right. I don't think you can just become overcome with rage yeah. and you turn into a demon. But like, like once again, less sympathetic because yeah, Unless, the guy, the guy's a dick. But you don't just kill him just because he doesn't like you. I mean, how many people do you run across that think you might be worthless in your life? You don't have to kill him. I don't know. Less sympathetic. I don't like that. It depends on your mindset. Yeah, and I don't, I don't like that guy's mindset. Well, so. I mean, that, how many people have commented on our YouTube channel and be like, these guys suck. I've never been like, <laughs> no. I mean, they didn't you know? die. Like, yeah. That's just never like something like, thanks for the view. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for the Bitch. view. But it did make it did uh, it did make the selling of me being a little sympathetic to the demon. I, I'm not Tanjiro in this uh, aspect. I know Tanjiro's kind to everyone. It's kind of a universal love. So It's unbelievable. And yeah. to be fair, Tanjiro didn't necess- I don't know if he necessarily knew that there was importance to the paper other than he knew it would not trigger the demon from attacking him more. Like, it wasn't like he looked at it and was like, oh, this is really well done well, writing. I, I, that's the part that, that was the only part of this episode that was like, I feel like that was just like shoehorned in. Because I was like, he didn't, it wasn't like he picked up the paper and read them. No. There was no communication for him to know that that was significant to the demon. It was an accidental. So like, he didn't step on it. The demon didn't react. Well, but Ta- I don't necessarily know if it was accidental because Tanjiro went out of his way to dodge it. Yeah, he it, purposely dodged it. But I don't understand why he dodged it. Like, how did he know? Well, what was the point of dodging the paper? I mean, he's been getting tossed around this fucking room for 40 minutes. Sure. When, like, okay, here, here's my thing. The paper's been in this room the whole time. We're not in a different room. Yeah. We've been in the same room for two and a half episodes. How the fuck did, A, he not almost step... How did, how did he not step on them already in the process, A? And B, why did he know to, like, jump over them? I know later he, I know later he said in the episode, like, oh... If I land softer on my feet, I can dodge and move and control myself in the room better. But like, he figured that out after he dodged the papers. So like, why did he dodge the papers? I'll throw out two things I don't think about. One, maybe he thought he could slip on the paper because it's not solid ground. Fair. Or, um, oh fuck, I had something really good. Mm. I mean, that first one. Let's well, think, think about it. Well, 
Yeah, I, I, but that's why I was just like... Oh, maybe, um... Maybe he noticed he was never... The slashes were never where the paper were go- mm-hmm. was. I was that wondering about it. that, too. Like, but then again, Tondra was standing in spots where, where there weren't paper, but there were paper, and he did slash at him, but it didn't... I don't think it hit the ground. He was trying to hit Tondra. Well, the paper definitely moved as a result of the it did. slash. It did. Yeah, literally right after that moment when he was standing over yeah. them. He when he's, we and see him go, oh, off. he's not touching my writing. Yeah, I, I, I like it, it, it. It was one of those things that it just worked out timing wise that he dodged it and then it kind of threw the demon out of his element. But it was just one of those things where I was like, I don't know. I just felt like that was like really like just like thrown in. No, just, sure. It was like for, it was a forced moment because mm-hmm. I, honestly, to me, me personally, if he didn't have that moment and still in the end he said, "Man, your demon art was cool." Was still the worked. same thing, it like the same worked. result, works to make the demon happy about his background. It was just adding that yeah. he dodged the I, of it. I, I like, purely think the sense. demon is just delusional and thinks that <laughs> yeah <laughs> he didn't step on it yeah. for his own. I think his writing at the end of the day is still probably shit. <laughs> I hate to break it to the demon. It's probably still shit. I think it just turned out where the guy, he projected his feelings onto Tanjiro not stepping on it. Yeah. Because I, I agree. He, the same result would have happened if he complimented him at the end and said, hey, your demon art is awesome. Yeah. And the episode was still worked out the same way. That's why I just thought that was a weird moment. Because I thought the scene was great. And you could still that didn't have the sense. flashback and everything. Like you'd still have the stomping yeah. on the on the paper writing. or the writing. You could still have him killing his master. I just don't understand like why it had to come up in that fight. And he got good at playing drums. In the yeah. end, that was a talent I thought he was good at. That was a cool thing. I, the coolest shots were the when he got really speedy with it. Yeah. I love that. That was cool. I was I, I don't know if it's worth looking into, but I feel like in most anime or like anywhere where there's like a power, you have a limit, like Bakugo says, it's yeah. like a muscle, you have a limit. That guy didn't seem like he was getting tired at all, so he was just like, no, I was, was just going to do everything. He was more just getting annoyed. Yeah. He had a mental limit, I guess, yeah. more so than anything. Yeah. But yeah. So I thought that was interesting that he wasn't getting tired. Yeah, he didn't move around the room much either. He didn't. I don't think he moved just, at all. I think he stood in the same spot. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I would like a flashback of Muzan stuff and see like what role he played for the Demon Twelve. Yeah, how he changed. Like, wh- was that his thing back in the day too? Was he always such like a sloth? I mean, it reminds me so much of Sloth from our other show because he just is so slow and like. Full Metal Alchemist Brother. Yeah. Yeah. Angry. Well, think of when the first time we saw the the drum guy. He was standing in the doorway. Tanjiro's coming this way. He just, and the room changes. Yeah. He didn't have to do anything. Or like he didn't doesn't put any effort to chase them. He just a slow walk. And the one kid was able to escape multiple times by just hitting the drum in the one room. Yeah. So he wasn't. He had no like ambition to get anything done at that point. Yeah. But he also dropped a new term in this episode. Hit me with it. When his eyes went back to seeing the pupils and all that, he screams, I have to get back into the 12 Kazuki. Oh, you said Kazuki? Okay. Mm-hmm. It was I was K-I-Z-U-K-I. I saw the 12, but I just kind of like... Mm-hmm. Is that like supposed to be like a Yakuza? Like just a like gang name? Gang affiliation? I don't Maybe. Know. I put this shoulder up, and I put this shoulder up. Because I just don't know. True. <laughs> uh, Zenitsu? Mm-hmm. Made it out with the kids by the luck of the draw, by opening the right door. Made it out. I will say. Fell out. Actually, yeah, the room changed. Door. I will say, I'm I'm sorry to not be in league with you on this. I do like him far more in this episode. I have to give credit where credit's due. Very commendable. Just don't go back to the annoying stuff, which he probably will return to at some point. I will say, like, this. Okay, outside of his heroic act, his. Demeanor this episode was like way more tolerable than that first episode too. The first episode he screamed in in the fifteen minutes he's on screen he screamed for fourteen. Mm-hmm. Like there That's was like, no breathing room. There was. I no will stopping. never rewatch that episode. I me neither. I you <laughs> cannot. <laughs> You Other couldn't than me. pay me. Yeah. You literally couldn't pay me to do it. I have to edit it, shit. so I still have to watch it one more time. <laughs> I after that, I'm never going back to that episode. That's like that one OVA for AOT that I hated. The the second one out of the more recent three that the we did. The one. The no the the one with the historia getting captured. 
like the shittiest. Uh, the, well, the one that was like kind of focused on Marco, like distress. Or n- you never watching that again. Yeah. And the same with Zenetsu. Nothing can compel me to watch that episode again. It was so obnoxious. I was not in a decent mind state that day. That guy did not help it. The crow. I can't stand the crow. Yeah, the crow. One is going away. I cannot yeah. stand the crow. I mean, at least we see the crow. But, like, seeing the crow and him and him being like that for 15 minutes, that was horrible. But today, he was a lot more tolerable to the point of was, was like, okay, like, if we can get him being like. Because I was like, dude, if he's like this, like. Like that first episode, if it's like that every time he's on screen, the whole show, I'm like, I don't know if I can mentally handle watching the show, <laughs> or at least the episodes with him in it. But if he goes back and forth from being like normal, like, oh wow, we made it out, nice, talking like a normal human being, and then sneaking in his freakouts everywhere, it's fine. It's just like he's another my hero character yeah. in my head that I just yeah. don't like. I don't want to limit. Meta. Yeah, I just, well, I just don't want to limit like. Only hating it. That's why I'm like, I want there. I want room for growth. I have. I like a lot of annoying characters. I like Mineta from My Hero. I don't care. I like Ayama, the naval, naval laser. laser. I don't care. Like there is always room for growth, even if it takes a season five for some of them to have like character moments. So but, far in three episodes, he got a character moment. Yeah, I mean the fact Hero. that like he was able to defend defend Tanjiro. And his sister without even knowing anything. And even, rather, he didn't know anything of the reasoning, but he knew it was a demon. Just because of who Tandra was, he was, like, loyal and good enough to to then defend Nezuko at that point. Mm-hmm. And that's fucking, that is super commendable. Like, I was like, I felt so proud of him. Especially, like, granted, he didn't fight. But that's not his thing, you know what I mean? Like, he was willing to put his body on the line. Even when he said, I'll just skewer you both, he didn't fucking move. He stayed yeah. right there. He was ready to die for it. Because Tandro said it was more important than life. Who is that? Who is that like? What other show have we watched where somebody wasn't great at fighting, but they just took the beating? I mean, Deku, to some degree, was like that early on. Captain America. Yeah, Thanks. Captain America. Like, I, I can do it this all day. Yeah. A Deku charge. I know. Deku charge the sludge villain to save Bakugo, knowing full well he's that is not a fighter. That is America's ass. Yes, that is America's ass. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, like, but like, it, it's just like putting, you know, putting others and putting like the cause before yourself. I mean, like that always is going to win me over in my book. Um, it's also a stark con- contrast to the previous episode where all he could think about was his own demise. As opposed to the children he was supposed to watch over. Yeah, I don't know how that switch happened so fast, but, I mean, I'm for it. Whatever. It's for Tanjiro, we'll take it, you know? Maybe it was the pure essence of Tanjiro's kind-heartedness. I mean, it seemed like that was a sole reason for why he ended up doing it in the end, is because he could tell by the, the beat of that kid that there was not an evil bone in his body. And so, if he was going out of, on a limb to protect the demon, there has to be a reason. I'm gonna do it. Did Sam from Game of Thrones get his ass kicked protecting something? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one, Sam. Uh, was he, he protecting Gilly? Gilly, he got okay. beat up by the brothers in the Night's Watch. Um, but he's not a good fighter. It's just it's not a huge one, so we're good. But yeah, like I like that type of character. Like when they they f- know full well, they they will not be. I say that hesitantly because it seems like Zenetsu's other persona might be able to destroy the boar. We'll see that if that ever happens one day. Yeah. Um, I still like the boar. I, I do too. I, mean, <laughs> I know he's intentionally supposed to call strife amongst this group right he's now. He's just a fucking hard. love him. He's just a hard head. I mean, like that's that is what it is. Literally, he used his head to break through that door. His laugh is a bit like Askeladd. Coming through, coming through. Kind of like that psycho. Uh, <laughs> Enjoys life a bit too much, kind of laugh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tandro took the other two kids out, brought them outside, and was witnessing what was going on. And he got so mad that the monster boar was beating up Zenetsu, and Zenetsu was protecting his sister that he charged into the fight. And that's where we left off. We learned that Zenetsu has crazy hearing. Oh, yeah. Superpowers just matched with Tanjiro's smell. Yeah, I kind of like the hearing a bit. That was cool. The blood circulating. I mean, they're both they're both really cool powers. I've always liked the like echolocation. You can like 
if you close your eyes, you can see the world just because of how heightened your hearing is. I mean, I guess the same can go for the nose, but I feel like in, in media, it's always vampires or people like Daredevil that can, like... Yeah. And can dolphins do that, too, um, with their uh, the their speech underwater? Echolocating? Is that the same type of thing? I don't, know. Like, I don't know if they have that. I don't know if it's dolphins. Thing. I can't remember. I don't know. They, they might have that ability. I, I thought they might. I remember there was that one Sega game that you could play as a dolphin. It's been so long. What is that game called? Sega somebody, game? somebody, somebody dropped that name. The old Sega game. Endless, endless Ocean. I don't know. My sisters loved it. Game of Thrones. Oh. Nostalgic throwback. Game Thrones. Regardless, Echo Location's really cool. So that puts Zenetsu higher up on the roster for me. I feel like I'm going crazy. Uh, that's funny. I forgot about that. Um, the. Uh, yeah, I, the hearing is cool. I wonder, is that just going to be like a thing? Like, are they all going to have like... All these senses? Yeah, like, is Boar Boy going to have like an animal instinct? Well, that's actually... He that's said actually the vibes. very interesting. Because... There's uh, five... Yeah, there's animals. five candidates and there's five senses. Yeah. I find that extremely coincidental. Huh. Are you about to count them out in your head, too? Is touch one? Yes, it yes. is. Touch, sight, smell, hearing. Touch, touch will taste. be taste. The, touch will be the girl with the butterfly. Yeah, just how does that like practically work with like everything? She can feel the vibrations in the ground. Could be like, like what's her tough? name? Top. Ooh, yeah. Um, Love the her. Yeah. So, so he was. Oh, we also found out the boar boy was the fifth. Um, he was the first so, one up the mountain and the first one down. Wait, so wait, real quick, help me with the, the senses. So, oh, yeah, gotcha. ta- Tanjiro's smell. smell. We got Zenetsu's, Zenetsu's hearing. hearing. Sight. Sight might be the girl just because she her eyes are so phased. Bug eye. So, uh, feeling, which would be either the boar or the jackass. Uh, Mohawk jackass. Vegeta. And Vegeta then what's the, what's the fifth one? Taste. Shit. Boarhead's taste. Which means feeling, well, I don't know, but he said feelings he, Vegeta. He, he said he could feel the vibe of a demon. You know what I mean? <laughs> the vibe. Okay. Well, I want to put our I want to put our bets on this before before it happens. So, so okay. With that being said, let's say the girl is feeling. Why? I don't know. She has the demon eyes. Well, what if my bet wants to be the feeling or touches for the boar boy? Then put it down. That's, your That's what I said. Okay, so feeling for the boar. Yeah. Because of vibe. Touch. It's Vegeta. Uh, taste. And then she's sight. Okay, fine. Damn, those are good. I'm going with that too. Adam, don't answer. Nah. Put your vote in quick. No, don't. I'll throw us off. Is that it for this episode? Um... Basically, I think so. Yeah, I, I mean, show's good. It's it's uh, trucking along. I'm just curious, like, where are we going? Where are we going from here? What's next? Oh, we got binge, uh, binge day tomorrow. Yeah. It seems like every episode, or every, you know, it's like, next question. <laughs> I mean, well, I next- think Tondro should get some fucking medical attention first before he gets a mission. <laughs> well, he's going to have to fucking fight uh, the board guy. Oh, That's the next thing we got going on. Yeah. So. But, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, God, I still can't name drop him. Yeah, I can't bring in his my, name. Yeah, I can't bring in my Funko. I was gonna ask, does he have a name? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I'd rather don't look at the back of those because he's on there. I can't read it. You mentioned it. Now. I want to look. I can't read it. It's too, it's too <laughs> small. I can't read. Guys, if you enjoy this reaction, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road 50k. We're gonna keep on saying it. So make sure you tune in for us when we get there. Uh, Check out the Patreon. If you want to see these a week in advance. We appreciate you guys for coming out this far. Just say hey in your native language. We love knowing where you guys are from. And yeah, we will see you in the next video. Punch it! Bye! Bye.